Hello. Tapping today? <laughs> no, I'm just goofing <laughs> around. Man. This is this is uh, this is a fun guitar. Cool. Well, welcome. Thank you. Paul Thank here at Music here. Villa, Bozeman, Montana, and uh, we are with Quentin King, and we're checking out Gibson today, Hummingbird Rosewood AG. Okay, yeah. so. It's almost weird to say that because you're what's, going, you go what's hummingbird. The AG stand you're, for? You're, you're saying hummingbird. Why? Yeah. This is not a hummingbird. There's but no bird. I think what's going on is they're they're calling it a hummingbird because of the square square shoulder type mm -hmm. of guitar. It's the same shape as a hummingbird, but it's got rosewood back and sides. What makes it really different is, is the thinner body. Okay. AG is avant garde. It's a, right. the the series that they do. Mm -hmm. You know, they're just nice like performance guitars. It's not like your vintage classic. Gibson models, J forty fives, and all that. This is a line that's really it's really comfortable for one, like for the working, and it's for the working, guy. plugging gotcha. in and playing, performing live. So Rosa back inside, spruce top, cutaway, great, great guitar. LR bags pick up inside. Yep. What do you think? Uh, volume tone control. That sort yep, of thing. Volume tone. You know what I think is yeah, this is the type of guitar that you know it's out of the box and on the stage. Yep. Or coffee house or you know uh, wherever it is you're going to be performing. This is kind of a plug and play. Yep. Instrument and. Um, what I, you know, we've had discussions before about, uh, you know, something that sounds great acoustically might not be the easiest instrument to handle when you're amplifying because the natural resonance of the guitar and certain low, especially low in frequencies can cause feedback problems. I think this guitar kind of addresses that in a sense that it's made to be a performance instrument. It's uh, the bass is present acoustically, but it's not really out in front. You know, it's, it's there enough, but yeah. then it really, if it's in a cue, it kind of starts in the middle and then kind of swoops up a little bit towards the mids and the highs. So you get a nice presence, a nice crispness to the to the sound. Yeah. And I'm sure once you dial it in and you crank it up, you know, you'll be able to add the bass without it being overwhelming and prone to feedback. Yeah, yeah I mean, as far as playability, it feels really nice. You can, you can again, kind of hug it. The neck yeah. is, is uh, great. Uh, thickness and width for you know what I like again no substitute for going to your uh, local music shop or coming down to music villa uh, flying out from wherever you are and visiting and, and picking the guitars up and playing them for yourselves but for for my taste uh, this is this is a solid instrument that I I would you know throw the strap on and plug yep. and play this cool. is the type of guitar that you know if you have your favorite guitar you're generally a little uncomfortable going and stepping in and performing with another guitar. This is the type of guitar that yeah. you would hope uh, if you break a string or if you need that somebody would hand you something like this because yeah. it's just... It's got it. It's all around. Feels good. Solid, yeah. Ready for the stage, ready to yeah. plug in. Well, cool. Uh, we uh, appreciate it. It's good to see you. Good to see you too. How's your summer? So far, so good. All right. You know? Yeah. Cool. Yeah. Too, going by too fast. Oh, yeah. It's Always does in Montana. Yeah. It's what we live for here. Summer. Yeah. All right. <laughs> All right. Thanks for watching. You bet. Thanks.